Hey, 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 happy Tuesday. Um, Tuesdays is my focus on food day and uh, who doesn't love food? Um, actually, I did meet one person once in my life who didn't like food, although I would probably say it was more like he didn't like the inconvenience of food, like the having to buy it and cook it and plan it and prepare it and, and clean up and everything afterwards. So he actually said to me one day, Jenny, I would have a happier life if only there was just one thing I had to eat that gave me everything I needed and I didn't have to worry about food anymore. And when the um, movie The Matrix came out, I don't know if you've seen that, and they're all sitting around in their little um, canteen eating the, the food that they've got in the uh, post-apocalyptic world. They have these little bowls full of what looks like um, watery grains or something and apparently like the, the the guy in charge of the food says that they, it contains everything you ever need and you don't need anything else um, except for <laughs> something else. You'll know what I mean if you've seen that movie. Um, to me that sounds pretty good in a post-apocalyptic world where things might be tough and if that's all you've got, that's all you've got and if it meets all your needs, that's fantastic. But I have to disagree with my mate Pete that I would you know want to choose to live like that because food's freaking ace. Who doesn't love food? <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to talk about avocados. I actually used to hate them, absolutely hate them. I thought they were the most vile things on earth. They had no flavor and I, and I just thought they were pointless until I got pregnant and my body started telling my brain, I need avocados, feed me avocados. I'm like, what is this? And uh, so I tried it and I really liked it. And I, as I said, I really craved it. So. I thought I'd um, look up a few of the benefits of avocados and share them with you. So, uh, a mere 100 gram serving of avocado, I'm not sure how much that would be, that might be half an average avocado, contains 26% of your daily recommend, recommended intake of vitamin K, 20% folate, 13% vitamin B6, 17% vitamin C, 14% um, potassium and 14% vitamin B5, 10% vitamin E, and also trace amounts of magnesium, manganese, copper, iron, zinc, phosphorus, vitamin A, B1, B2, and B3. Oh my God! What a powerhouse. So I think that's why my pregnant body was craving for that. It's just so packed full of nutrition. Um, 77% of the calories in avocado is from the fat, the majority of which is oleic acid. I hope that's how you say it, um, which is also a major component in olive oil, and it has been associated with reduced inflammation. Um, from a weight management perspective and for, for my own weight management and weight loss and health goals, um, they're, they're the they're great because they're high in fiber and that can contribute to um, what, help you with weight loss because you feel fuller for longer. You're less likely to go snack on crap um, and also uh, can contribute to reduce blood sugar spikes. Uh, it also helps feed the friendly gut bacteria in your intestines, which is great. Um, so 100 grams of avo, again, gives you about 7 grams of fibre, which is a whopping 27% of your recommended daily intake, which is pretty cool. Excuse me, I have, have to drink. I think I've had my two litres of water today already, which is good. Um, so the fibre and fat content of avocado can also help you feel fuller for longer. So if you add a few slices with your brekkie eggs or add a few slices into your lunch salad, it can actually help you to stop reaching for the hanger snack later in the afternoon. I um, found a study in which people who ate avocado with a meal felt 23% more satisfied and had a 28% lower desire to eat over the next five hours compared to those who didn't. So if you want to um, put my money where my mouth is, if you want to copy uh, a link to that study, just let me know, just shoot me a PM and I'll send you that link. That was um, 26 overweight people in that study um, and not all of them obviously would have been having the avocado in their meals. Um, and there's two other studies, also happy to show you the links, that uh, 
show a link to reduce risk of cataracts and macular degeneration in eyes, which is common in um, older adults. And as someone who's had to wear glasses since I was 11 years old, my eye health is like one of my highest priorities. So I'm really pleased at finding that out. So if you don't already have avos in your diet, then maybe it is time to eat one or two a week. Um, I have three of them in my fridge at the moment, actually, and I am getting ready for my afternoon snack. So I'm gonna open an avocado, and this one's a bit soft, but here's hoping it's oh, near perfect. Bit of bruising down here, but I don't care. That's, that's pretty edible. And I saw a meme today where it said, why, why did they keep putting the same wooden ball in these? Can't they give us a new toy? <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was funny. Happy, happy Tuesday again, and hope you have a good rest of the day. And if you're hungry right now, maybe go whack some avo on a, what am I? I've got some wholemeal corn thins there, which I'm gonna have have that on them with maybe a slice of tomato, a bit of goat's cheese. Oh, I'm about to drool, so I better jump off. Thanks so much for watching, um, Hayley, and thank you, Callie. Have a good day. Bye.